Welcome to our UK Sphagnum Farming Tour. Um, we'll show you our trial sites that we set up in 2018 and we'll also show you the start of our new project where we're working with commercial farmers to scale up. The first Sphagnum Farming site used was a cutover peatland, a land type that's a huge issue across Europe. The second site was a low value bog grassland, of which there are large areas too. We want to find a solution to emissions from damaged peatlands whilst also replacing peat use and horticulture. We used a unique method of simulating rain by applying water from above with an unregulated water table, resulting in many benefits such as less water use, a larger production area, easy access and no earthworks. It also saves methane release, expense and the loss of carbon from removed peat. At both sites, two types of micropropagated sphagnum palustri were tested, both being sustainably produced at Biedermoss a unique UK company known for supplying peatland restoration projects. One type was beader gel, which is small pieces of micropropagated sphagnum in a gel, which provide a nice even cover. The second was beader hummock, small clumps of micropropagated sphagnum, precisely planted here for experimental purposes. The new project will use both beader hummock and beader gel. Two overhead irrigation types were tested, spray and drip, with spray resulting in the faster growth of the sphagnum. Three types of covers were tested, white perforated plastic, very fine mesh and straw. These all showed greater growth than having no cover. Typical farm weeds were a problem and are a focus in the new three-year project. Carbon greenhouse gas flux was measured throughout with this equipment demonstrating that once sphagnum covered the ground, the plots were net carbon sinks and measured methane was negligible. This was about nine months after planting. Bulk density measurements of our sphagnum crop show a productivity of 1,600 metres cubed per hectare in two years. We expect a higher annual productivity at the three-year harvest. We have also been using laser scanning technology to monitor the growth of sphagnum at both sites. Let's visit the cutover bog Little Walden Moss, located in the northwest of England between Manchester and Warrington. You will see the two farming plots over here. Let's go and have a look at the westerly plot first. This is a view from the laser scanner showing the westerly plot of sphagnum that are fed by drip irrigation. It is February 2019 and the sphagnum was planted just a couple of weeks ago. The drip irrigation are in process of being installed. The white bottles are protecting a series of tensiometers that measure soil moisture and the white spheres are temporary features for the laser scanning. From left to right the cover treatments are no cover, fine mesh, plastic cover and straw. We'll head over to the spray irrigation plot next but first let's let the sphagnum grow. It is now August 2020 and there's quite a difference, not just in the weather. The small sphagnum plugs have now become large accumulations of sphagnum. The 360 degree photographs collected by the laser scanner allow us to make visual assessment of the crop. But the real advantage of the laser scanning technology is the capture of all the plots in three dimensions. The three-dimensional data allow us to navigate and explore the whole site from any angle. We can take these data into other software such as Cloud Compare and GIS packages that enable us to quantify growth. We can easily determine change in height. But of course height is variable even over short spaces. So what else can we extract? Well if we focus on an individual plot and we take three-dimensional data from the first scan February 2019 then September 2019 and August 2020, we can visualise the growth. We can see how it's changed and most importantly, we can determine volumetric change. This example grew 0.48 cubic metres of sphagnum over 18 months.
So this is sphagnum from our latest trials. Um, this is where we're looking at how to dry the sphagnum and then to process it uh, in a way so that we can deliver a good product to uh, customers. So we're looking at using um, commercial scale operations to produce a product. So this is some dried sphagnum. And here is some sphagnum that we have processed. And this is some that has been mixed with other constituents to make a full growing media that we've used in our trials. Melcor Industries led growing media trials on UK commercial nurseries with grown sphagnum as a constituent. This was on a range of different plants, all of which were very successful. More extensive trials are in the new project to ensure a quality peat-free end product. The results of these sphagnum farming trials are being taken further in our new three-year funded sphagnum farming project, which is working with commercial partners to roll out sphagnum as a viable agricultural crop. So here we have um, sphagnum planted in the field um, with a plastic cover. These are some bead hummers, plugs of sphagnum that have been planted. Um, as you can see, they're, they're growing well despite the snow. To find out more about our unique sphagnum farming projects in the UK, there are two sessions on day one to watch. Look for session 3.2 stage B Anna Keatley and session 4.3 stage C Neil Wright. Thank you for joining our tour.